hello guys uh, we are seeing angular 2 tutorial so today i going to show you how to create the multiple components in angular 2 it's very interesting so so what is uh, the requirement which uh, we discussing uh, uh, from the session uh, of the angular 2 so here i have my listing uh, uh, a list of heroes okay so this heroes um, have their own details so on click of uh, my doctor iq uh, so i go i am displaying uh, the details but actually this all declaration all the templates uh, which i created in a single component but i i want to split this detail into the different uh, component and listing in a different components so how to achieve this is a today topic so before that so uh, so now the time to create the new uh, component uh, file so uh, we'll uh, keep some name uh, called um, hero component something that's uh, be meaning meaningful so uh, okay what the name we'll keep is hero details okay something like this hero details uh, dot so component okay so it generated me the js file as well so why uh, how the uh, js file it is generating yes uh, that it's automatically my uh, node manager it uh, automatically it will convert and it will allows a uh, browser to understand whether uh, uh, um, the what the uh, js we are using so this already we discussed nicely so i know i don't want to discuss uh, further of things okay so now i created the new file called hero details dot uh, component dot uh, ts so okay one second so let's keep the small name okay component okay so hero okay okay let's uh, take time to convert node once it's synchronized okay uh, now what i need to do for basically if i creating the component i need to import some few stuffs that i already uh, we uh, discussed and we imported so basically so uh, i'm telling this uh, file as a component file i have to imp import the component first from the core library so how to import it's very simple component okay let's uh, copy this component from the angular uh, core okay from adrid angular okay go and one more thing uh, we going to import library called input so why we are adding this uh, because i need to accept some input uh, from my uh, base uh, component so uh, uh, to accept the input i need to uh, um, use this uh, input so uh, so this assembly so i just uh, refer this okay let's save this then mm, what are we going to do we going to create the component so how to create the component so if we uh, use the add rate simple add rate okay just to declare the component component okay so now uh, we need to uh, mention the selector selector is uh, okay hero details something like this hero detail okay so this is my selector and then the template okay. so here we going to add uh, the template so template where we going to get from the past component so this uh, this is the details uh, we are displaying on on click of uh, the hero so uh, we ro uh, written the logic uh, just uh, uh, I push this uh, model to the selected hero and uh, that selected hero name we are displaying this i already discussed clearly just go through my previous session 
so I uh, just copy paste into here okay just to save this okay so but uh, here we don't have the selected hero object so it will obviously it will uh, throws me the uh, error so it is uh, telling that declaration is expected okay so before that um, this is the type of uh, hero so uh, we are uh, just uh, referring the hero file just you this is the re reference you have to add this reference and uh, then then you have to export the class for this so okay so for the component i going to create one class okay class hero details details component okay okay so here I going to accept the input input hero this is that type of hero okay this input I going to accept so this I going this is what the object I going to use in the second component copy only the hero just to replace here okay we are done now so let's uh okay what is this Okay, we created and renamed dot of stuff, so it's get confused. Okay, just make it a small name. Okay, mapping it is uh, just creating the new instance of the file. Okay, now it's clear. Okay, so now what we have to do? Now I need to uh, call that selector uh, to here. So how to call? We already know that. So just take the selector of the hero details okay and uh, pass the attribute hero so input so how to okay so it uh, it's uh, need the input hero that will tell and uh, that uh, okay so you just uh, declare the just uh, this is the way uh, uh, to pass uh, the object uh, in the selector okay so we have to pass the selected hero object okay we are all done so what we are doing in the second component we are accepting the input hero that is a type hero so uh, here uh, on click uh, we are passing that uh, uh, current iteration details to the selected hero that already we discussed a lot so that I am passing uh, to the hero detail selector uh, input okay so everything we did okay we all set finally we have uh, we have to go and uh, import uh, my second component just copy paste the app component so browser should understand if uh, compiling okay so the component name is hero details what is the class hero details component okay and oops something's get collapsed okay for the hero and declaration also you should uh, 
uh, declare the app component so this is basically from hero what is the file name hero details dot app dot component okay so everything uh, we set so so yes so anyways a uh, main rts uh, uh, calling this module so the module uh, may contain the multiple component that i already told so uh, yes we uh, we have the multiple components so module uh, hold uh, the a number of uh, components so you can finally declare in the main dot ts so because main uh, t uh, main uh, ts uh, will hold the multiple modules so wherever you want uh, that module you can uh, use it so here i am doing the home layout for that i just to refer the main dot tss you can group the multiple app module in the module yes it's contain the multiple app components so hopes uh, you understand the structure now so let's uh, go and see in the browser i hope it's synchronized automatically so i will refresh myself so it's loading without any error yep so let's go and select yes this time selected hero is uh, silly okay uh, you want to feel that yes the changes happened so just we'll uh, keep something differently selected selected okay my hero something like that selected my hero it's not synchronized yet yep it's synchronized now okay so selected my hero is rubber man so now uh, my application is running with a uh, multiple components with strongly typed module so uh, we structurized nicely if you watch the tutorial which we covered from post you will get to know the basic idea of how to structurize the complete angular 2 app how to declare the module how to declare the multiple components how to declare the object uh, the class objects and how to refer into that yes still we're going to uh, apply a lot of uh, oops uh, concept over here just to stay tuned my angular 2 tutorial i will going to uh, uh, get some interesting topics in a future session so next session uh, i going to replace my hard coded data heroes data with some services so that i going to use uh, the dot not application web api it's really very pretty good so i going to use that and get the data so please stay tuned my uh, tutorial to understand how the service is going to work in angular 2 thanks for watching the video guys if you have any doubt queries please comment us please subscribe our channel if you not subscribed before uh, if you are watching this in a youtube app that is a bell symbol uh, that is a notification symbol that is uh, provided by the youtube uh, in my channel just go and click that you will get the regular uh, notification about the tutorial